I've been working with Noel for the last, or on his last two solo projects and to the latter part of the um, Oasis days. Um, I started working with Noel on the um, Don't Believe the Truth album for Oasis and then I've worked with him ever since. relationship with Noel photography wise he's got a good idea of, of imagery and then he, he lets me sort of get on with it and um, either location wise or, or with ideas and normally we come back with something good Pictures for the new album began with something that Noel came back with. He found some funky little boxes that oscillated and messed around with wavelengths and projectors. He bought a couple off the internet and gave me them to um, go off and play with by feeding music through them. It affected the wavelengths of um, the projections or TV images. It didn't, it didn't take that long. I think we spent an afternoon. And we did about two, two and a half hours of projections. And we've got, we've got lots of different backgrounds and different effects out of them. Listening back to it when it was finished, all the songs are kind of still about the same couple who are still searching for something. I don't know, I don't know why. I'm, I'm kind of in a, in a place of songwriting at the minute where the songs are very direct about a me and a you, or um, a him and a her, or a him and a him, you know, whatever. It's not intentional in any way, but when I listen back to the, the album when it was finished, all the songs are about relationships still. The big difference on this one is there's a lot more guitar solos. On the last record there was one I can recall, there might have even been two. On this album, I think out of the ten tracks, nine have got guitar solos in them. That wasn't really a conscious thing, was to make more of a guitar record, that's just what the songs dictated on the day, you know. Followed you down to the end of the world, wait outside your I tried to get Johnny Marr to play on the last record. I wanted him to play on What A Life, and he couldn't do it because he was busy doing something. So on this record, I called him and I said, can you come up, I've got this track, can you come and play on it? And he said, uh, he said yeah, 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 okay. Well, I said, oh, I'll, send, I'll send you the, the, the rough mix. And he said, no, 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 I don't want to hear it. I'm just going to come and I'll just kind of react to it on the day. And I was like, fucking hell, that's brave. I said, can I even give you any pointers? And he said, no, I don't want, don't even tell me what it's like. And he, you know, he arrived on the day, with two guitars and a bag of effects pedals, and off it started, and he kind of went, oh, fucking hell, mm. Oh, wow. He said, oh, I didn't know it was going to be like this. I was like, well, I was trying to tell you, you know. I've got to say, man, watching him play the guitar is fucking unbelievable. He's such a, I mean, he's like properly way up there. When you hear it, his guitar bits on it, it's instantly recognisable as him. He was great to be in the studio with that day and just a great like burst of energy and kind of he's always really positive about stuff about everything. We had a blast doing it and um, that could have been the centrepiece of the album. You know, it's such an epic and cinematic. I like The Mighty Eye, uh, that's my favourite track. I saw him write it and he brought it in and I was like, oh that's, that's uh, chord sequence wise a bit different than what he normally does. From working with him as long as I've worked with him there's a format that I recognise and this was like a new thing, you know. He did it and he didn't think it was good enough. I didn't actually agree with him, I thought it was really good. But in retrospect the version that we ended up with I think is I'm glad it was this one and not the one that we did before. I can't be put on the spot and said, right, well, today you're in the studio with, you know, fucking whoever and we're going to write a song. I can't, I can't do it like that. They've, all, they've got to fall out of the sky for me. I mean, the trick is always to be switched on and always to be 
ready for when, for when it falls out of the sky. Most of the songs that I start to write, I finish off in my head in the most innocuous of places, you know, in a doctor's waiting room, buying toothpaste, fucking, you know, parents' evenings. You know, because you're kind of, you're kind of switched off. <laughs> a terrible thing to say, you're switched off at a parent's evening, but fucking hell, I am. Yeah, if I'm trying to write, I can never write when I'm actually not trying to write at all. You know, I drive my fucking wife bananas. I could be out, you know, be out having something to eat. And I'd be, she'll be like, what are you, what are you doing? You know, I'd be kind of tapping on the table and writing a, writing a song with, the knife and the fork drives her insane, you know. And I was told the streets were paved with gold and there'd be no time for getting out when we were. I think this album is, is different from any of the others he's done, that he's broadened his horizons. He's done it the right way, you know, he's just bit by bit, and bit but this is the broadest one that he's done. I'm really happy for him. I was waiting for this one. And it's braver and it takes longer. Overall, I think it's, uh, it's got more of a classic record about it. It's never been a conscious thing for me. I really work on what songs I think are the best. Stylistically, it doesn't really come into it. If a song is great and it feels like nothing you've done before, then that's, that's brilliant. You know, if a song is great, and it sounds like a thousand other th songs you've ever written. I don't give a shit about that, as long as it's great. You know, I'm not bothered about that. If you put on a brand new pair of shoes, eventually they just mould to the shape of your feet because that's the fucking shape that you are, you know. And I guess your songs, or my songs, or one's songs, you know, they just end up like that. But I don't, I don't, I, would, I don't really shy away from anything like that. I, if anything, embrace it. <laughs> Like the last album was, was, to me, was an album and it was a trip from start to finish. This is like a great TV series. And TV's better than movies, so they tell me these days.